A battle for China's largest home builder is heating up, and some Chinese are wondering if it's becoming their version of Barbarians at the Gate, which recounted a seminal moment in corporate takeovers. I'm going to buy out the company. Here are the five players you need to know. One, China Banca. China Banca, the world's largest home builder by revenue, is the target. It's founded by Wang Shi, a celebrity entrepreneur who likes to parachute, has climbed Mount Everest twice, and studied at Harvard when he was 60 years old. Two, Baoneng. The presumed barbarian is Baoneng, a little-known property and insurance company whose founder got his start selling vegetables. Baoneng started buying up Vanka's shares last year and became its top shareholder with a 25% stake. In June, Baoneng tried to oust Wang and other directors from the board, though that effort failed. Vanka says it believes Baoneng's eventual goal is to take over control of the company. Baoneng says it only wants to be a financial investor. Three, China Resources. Before Baoneng, Vanka's top shareholder was a big state-owned conglomerate called China Resources Group. It's had a good relationship with Vanka Management, but it recently objected to a plan proposed by the company. Four, Shenzhen Metro Group. Vanka tried to fend off any move by Baoneng through a complex deal to turn another company into its largest shareholder, Shenzhen Metro Group, a subway developer owned by the government of Shenzhen, the southern Chinese city where Vanka is based. But Baoneng and China Resources objected to Vanka's plan, saying they questioned the merits of the deal. Shenzhen Metro didn't comment. Five, the Chinese government. The powerful state has remained quiet, keeping everyone guessing whether it will intervene. Some people think it might because it involves two government-owned companies. No matter how it ends, the Vanka battle will likely be a case study for Chinese business leaders, just like KKR's acquisition of RJR Nabisco in Barbarians at the Gate. <laughs>